Let us open our Bible on Psalm 68, verse 11. Praise the Lord. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Yes. Ang Panghinoon ay nagbigay ng kanyang salita. Ano bang salita ang binigay ng ating Panghinoong Diyos sa buong sanglibutang ito? That His gospel must be proclaimed to all nations, to all countries, to all people of the world. And imagine there are how many population today in the world. So hindi ito magagawa ng iilan lamang na mga magpapublish kahit pa man ang kanyang gospel. That's why it says, Great was the company of those that publish it. Ngayon, sa ministry naman na pinagkaloob ng Diyos sa buhay natin, naging bahagi po tayo sa mga nagpapublish ng kanyang ibanghelyo. At habang lumalaki ng lumalaki ang ating ministry, lumalaki rin ng lumalaki ang challenges. Lumalaki ng lumalaki rin ang ating pangangailangan. Kaya isa po itong challenge kahit pa man sa ating pananampalataya. Kung ano ang dapat nating gagawin. Kasi nangyari nung unang panahon sa panahon ni Moses, nung rumami na sila ng rumami, and they are about to proceed to the land of promise, ang nangyari po, they were cornered sa Red Sea. Then the Egyptian soldiers led by the king, hinabul sila. Kasi sabi ng hari, why we let them go? Wala na tayong mga servants. At maliban dyan, pinatay nila yung ating firstborn kasama ng aking anak. Dahil sa galit ng hari, nag-iisip sila na habulin at kumari. Kung hindi man nila maibalik doon sa Egypt, patayin na lang nila. So nung nakita ng mga Israelites na hinabul nga sila ng mga soldiers of Egypt and they are trying to escape and they are trying to find a way where to, to go. There was none. Wala na. Kasi unang-una, they went to that place by on foot. Karamihan naglakad lang sila. Samantalang yung mga kalaban nila ride sa horse and chariots. So kung babasihan mo yung speed, hindi na sila maka-escape. Talo sila. Kaya si Moses, lumaki ang challenge sa kanyang buhay. How he could bring these people <clears throat> to escape from the hand of the enemies. Kaya si Moses, masyado na siyang dismayado. Masyado na siyang wala, nawala na siya ng, ano, ng idea. Anong gagawin niya? So, Moses sat on the ground and wala na siya mapuntahan hanggang ang Panghinoon na mismo ang nagbigay sa kanya ng instruction. Anong gagawin niya? Whether they will surrender to the hand of the Egyptians or fight against them or whether they will go for their journey or stop. Ganun. Kaya ganun din sa buhay natin habang lumalaki yung ministry natin, lumalaki rin yung challenges sa buhay natin. So what, what we should do? Shall we stop or go? Basahin natin anong advice ng Diyos kay Moses. Exodus 14 verse 15. Praise the Lord. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Yan. Yun ang instruction ng Diyos kay Moses. Bakit ka umiyak dito sa akin? Para bagang bata na 
umiiyak sa mga magulang kung ano na lang ang kanyang gagawin sapagkat tila wala na siyang mapupuntahan. At nakita naman ng Diyos kay Moses, dismayado na siya. Kaya sinalitaan siya ng Diyos, sabihin mo ang mga anak ni Israel, they go forward, patuloy. Doon na, hinati ng Diyos yung Red Sea. Kahit gaano kalaki ang balakid sa ating daan, God can make it away. It where it seems there is no way. Yung may awit niyan eh. God will make a way. It seems there is no way. Kung sa tingin mo wala ng daan, ang Diyos ang gagawa ng daan. So, ganun sa buhay natin, we should not stop because God is spoken it, it will surely come to pass and nobody and nobody can stop it. Praise the Lord. So, dahil walang mga ka-stop, the same sa ating paggawa ng gawain ng Diyos, since we belong to the Lord, since we belong to His word. Nobody can stop. We should go forward to to perform the work of the ministry. Anyway, remember this. In the first place, this, this is not our, ours. Hindi ito sa atin. Kaya nga, we are being gifted by our living God. Binigyan tayo ng, ng gifts ng Diyos. Binigyan tayo ng mga uh, spiritual gifts ng Diyos para ito yung magpi-perform sa gawain ng Diyos. Basahin natin yan. Ephesians 4.11 Praise the Lord. And He gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Yan. Ah, nagbigay siya ng sa iilan ng apostleship or apostles these are the first ranking spiritual workers of God. Ito yung mga nangungulo na ginagamit ng ating Panginoong Diyos. And He can make it many as God will make it. And some prophets, napakahalaga ito. Prophets, these are being used by God to reveal His revelations or if the servant of God or people of God inquire God, he uses the prophets. No? Ginagamit niya ang mga propeta. Prophesying, vision, dream or sometimes audible voice. And some evangelists. Dito sa Bible, sino ang tinaguri ang evangelist? Philip. How Philip uh, made his uh, ministry. Paano niya nagawa? Pagpunta siya sa isang lugar, biglang mawala. Punta na naman sa isang lugar, biglang mawala. Punta na naman sa ibang lugar. So, ibig sabihin niyan, evangelists, these are the gifted of God who preaches the word of God to revive to preach the word of God sa mga places. Kahit saan siya ipapadala ng Diyos. Siya yung ginagamit ng Diyos to, quick, to quicken congregations. Kaya magtaka ka. Kahapon, nandoon. Mamaya, nandoon na naman. Bukas, nandoon na naman yung mga servants ng Diyos. Mga evangelist niya. Yun yung trabaho ng evangelist. Praise the Lord. They go to place, from place to place, from place to place. And there is no limit kung saan siya ipadala ng Diyos, whether in our locality, in our country, or outside of our country. It doesn't matter. The, the Lord will bring them wherever He want them to, to go. Evangelists and some pastors. Pastors, these are being stationed in a congregation to maintain feeding, uh, guarding the, the, the flock of God na hindi sila mawala. So, ito yung naka-station. Praise the Lord. Nandiyan lang siya sa kanyang turil or flock. And teachers, of course. There are so much uh, teaching ministries in our 
ministry in our church, teaching music, teaching Sunday schools, teaching the children, uh, discipleship, or whatever. Ano pa ang kinakailangan ituturo? So, gift din yan. So, these all are gifts from heaven to us. Praise the Lord. Kaya hindi tayo mamamorblema what to do, how to do it. Hindi natin problema yan. God will give us gifts in different ways to complete the work of the ministry. Basahin natin ang Ephesians 4.8. Lord, wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Yes. When he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. At saka isa lang espiritu ang gumagamit po sa atin. That's why every gift na binigay ng Diyos sa buhay ng kanyang mga lingkod, this will never contradict each other. Hindi ito magbabanggaan. Kasi isa lang ang spirit gumagamit sa atin. Praise the Lord. Katulad nung nag, nag-rescue kami ng, or rescue, nag-casting out kami ng demon sa buhay ni Mr. Yap Iping. At that operation, there were four vision, visionaries being used. Then they, they report to me, each of them, Pastor Chit, ganito, may nagtago, ganyan. Pastor Chit, ganito, mayroon pang doon. So sila ngayon na nag-vision, there were no contradicts in their visions, but it is in different angles. Nakikita lahat. Praise the Lord. Parang kamera ba? Oo. Dito yung angle ang isa. Dito yung angle. Apat yun eh. So wala, walang lusot ang masamang espiritu. Meron nagsasabi sa akin, Pastor Chit, ah, uh, nagmamarcha sila. Ganito, papunta doon. Pastor Chit, ganito, nagmi-meeting sila. Ito ang plano nila. Different angles, but iisa lang ang purpose para hindi maka lamang ang ating kaaway dahil they were monitored. Kasi isa kasi sa operation ng mga military, bakit sila nagwawagi sa operation nila? They got CCTVs. At sa CCTV na yan, merong nag-monitor. Siya yung nag-feed ng information doon sa ground. Sabihin dito, oh, may kaaway dyan sa likod ng pader na yan, mag-iingat ka. Pero hindi nakita ng kaaway. Nakikita pala nila. Oh, kulang yung level ng pagdapa mo. Nakausbong yung likod mo. Flat talaga. Baka matamaan ka. So, ganun. So, sa atin, equip tayo ng Diyos ng mga gifts sa operation na ginagawa ng Diyos sa mundo through us. Praise the Lord! Hindi tayo mabahala. Ay, yung mga CCTV na yan. Ahead ang Diyos sa atin. Ahead ang Diyos sa kanila. Wala pa yan. Sa Diyos, meron na. Praise the Lord! Oo, kaya, ganun. Kaya, minsan, pag magbisita kami sa ibang congregation, wala pang text noon, wala pang video call, wala pa yan lahat, wala pang mga gadgets. Ang, ang ano noon, cellphone noon, ano pa? Malalaki. Tapos milyonaryo lang meron yan. So, paano ako makapagtapon doon ng message that I'm going to visit them? Three days before, nagbigay na ng Diyos ng minsahi sa kanila. Pagdating namin doon, we already... Uh, we are wondering why they were prepared. Sinalubong kagad ako, Pastor Chit, three days before dumating kayo na naginip ako. Ano pa naginip mo? Darating ka raw dito together with three of your companions. O oh, tama. Tatlo ang kasama ko. So, uh, kaya naghanda kami. Alam namin, this is the third day. Uh, alam namin na darating ka. Yun, dumating. Nakahanda na sila. Praise the Lord. Oh, so, ganun. Ang technology ng Diyos, that is super 
advance yan masyado. Hindi mo yan mabibihind. Kaya, if the armed forces of the Philippines or armed forces of the United States of America or Russia, they are being equipped with all these kind of technologies in order to win the battle. Much more we, lalot na tayo. Kasi this battle is far greater than the battle of the physical battle because this battle is battle against invisible enemies. Praise the Lord. Mga invisible ito sila, hindi basta-basta ito. So we need the, the, the gifts of God from heaven. Kaya iisa lang ang nagamit sa atin lahat. Whether your gift is you belong to the prophets, you belong to the evangelists, you belong to the teachers, you belong to the apostleship, it doesn't matter. Only one spirit ang naggagabay sa atin. Basahin natin yan. Ephesians 3.5 Praise the Lord, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. Yes. Sa lang ang Espiritu ang nagre-reveal sa kanyang wisdom, sa kanyang knowledge, sa kanyang understanding, sa mystery, sa mga secrets, sa mga bagay na hindi pa darating, sa mga bagay na nakalipas na. Nire-reveal ito ng Diyos by His Spirit through His prophets and His apostles. Praise the Lord! Kaya ganun po. So, ano ngayon ang gagawin natin? God gave us this ministry. We are one of those who proclaim the gospel of God sa buong sanglibutan ito. Dahil sinali tayo ng Diyos at binigyan tayo ng mga gifts ng ating Panginoong Diyos. So anong tawag sa atin? We are not sent by men. We are not sent by the government of our country nor by any countries of this world but we are sent by God. Pinadala tayo ng Diyos. Kasi pag tayo ay nagpi-perform ng ministry na ito, na magliligtas ng mga tao sa kanilang kasalanan at sa kamay ng masamang espirito, unless you are sent by God, you can never be successful. Hindi ka maging successful. Praise the Lord. Basahin natin. Romans 10, 14 and 15. Praise the Lord. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall, the pre shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Ayan. Paano maligtas ang tao? kung hindi siya mananampalataya. Paano mananampalataya ang tao kung hindi pa niya narinig? Paano siya makarinig kung walang preacher? Paano naman ang preacher mag-preach kung hindi siya sent by God? O kailangan you must be sent by God kasi only God and the Spirit of God that can reveal the mystery of the kingdom of God and only the Spirit of God to guide His children, to speak his gospel, to perform casting out of demons, healing the sick, raising the dead, cleansing the lepers, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom of God. Iisang espiritu lang ang may kakayahan niyan to perform the spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Kaya ang requirement sa atin lahat, mga vessels of God, we must be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, meet for the master's use. We are just being used by the master. Meet, meaning to say, you are worthy. You are available to be used by God. Magagamit ka ng ating Panginoong Diyos. So, in order to complete the whole part of the body of Christ, what are those parts? Basahin natin. 1 Corinthians 12:28. Praise the Lord. And God had set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. See, these are 
important. No? Lahat ito ay are important. Napakahalaga po nito. At pasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Governments are are now well existing. Uh, ini-streamline na tayo ng Diyos para itong katawan ni Kristo can work together. Yung tatlong C. Cooperation, communication, and collaboration. This is very necessary na ito po ang mag-work out sa body of Christ. No. Tingnan mo si Philip. Basahin natin. Acts 21, 8. Praise the Lord. And the next day, we that were Paul's company departed and came unto Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip the evangelist, which was one of the seven and abode with him. Yeah. See? Nakita mo? Nagkakaroon sila ng mga meetings, nagkakaroon sila ng mga fellowships, pupunta sila kay Philip with the company nakasama ni Paul. Oh, so, ibig sabihin yan, these children of God are meeting together sa kanilang paglilingkod sa Diyos. They are not uh, divided. Uh, they are not contrary to each other. But they go together even in different ways of gifts of God. But isa lang ang kanilang direction. An evangelist, not only Philip, Nadagdagan ito. Basahin natin. 2 Timothy 4.5 Praise the Lord. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Yan. Binibigyan ng instruction ni Paul si Timothy. Watch thou in all things. Kasi bata pa ito si Timothy. Endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make Full proof of thy ministry. Big sabihin yan, make full proof. What is the proof of your ministry? These are the proof. People were saved, people were changed, people were healed, people were enlightened, people were saved. Yan ang proof of your ministry. Praise the Lord. Oh. At yung buhay mo na nasang ayon sa iyong pinapahayag sa salita ng Diyos. Alam mo, mahirap ang isang lugar na matagal na walang teaching uh, or teacher or preacher. Mahirap. Yan ang disadvantage. Kaya, kinakailangan i-pray talaga natin bawat lugar na ma-open, huwag nating hayaan na matagal ma- mabigyan ng worker. As much as possible, pag talagang nangailangan na sila we could provide a worker. So, kaya sabi dyan, pray unto the Lord of the harvest that He may send laborers unto His harvest. The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Basahin natin, may panahon sa Israel na matagal wala silang teacher at preacher. Basa, 2 Chronicles 15 verse 3. Praise the Lord. Now, for a long season, Israel hath been without the true God and without a teaching priest and without law. See? Kaya wag nating hayaan na mangyari ito. The disadvantage is that the enemy will devour them. No? Kakainin talaga sila ng kaaway para silang mga sheep scattering without shepherd. Kaya these ministries, we are going to commit this unto the Lord because God will call workers for his vineyard. Siya yung tatawag. Praise the Lord. Look at Pastor Samuel Agabre. He was not able to escape from the call of God. Look at us, tayo, na mga lingkod ng Diyos. Hindi tayo naka-escape because it is He who called us to be sent saan man niya tayo ipapadala. Kaya, tayo na mga naglilingkod sa Diyos, especially pastors, remember, you are performing not your own work, but you are performing according to the heart of God. That's why He chose pastors according to His heart. Last verse, Jeremiah 3.15. Praise the Lord. 
And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin yan, the flock will be happy, the congregation will be satisfied, the, the children of God will be saved because ang paggamit ng Diyos sa mga pastors, it was not according to their own plan or own way, but it is according to the plan, to the ways of God, according to the heart of God. Kaya pasalamat tayo sa ating Panginoong Diyos dahil Siya ang gumagawa ng paraan sa anumang challenges. Bakit? Very challenging itong pag-produce ng pastor. You know why? Some denominations, they cannot send worker over a place to pastor except they should be sent to Bible school. Ipadala nila yan sa Bible school. They will sponsor. They will give enough support. Pero dito sa atin, very challenging. But it is God who will call and who will choose whom He will send. Praise the Lord. Para sa ganun, pag ipadala ka ng Diyos, 100%, you are gifted by God. Kahit ano pa ang kategori mo sa sanglibutang ito, kahit hindi ka pa nakapunta ng uh, Bible school, but you can expound very well, you can explain very well the mystery of the kingdom of God. And you can cast out demons easily dahil ang Diyos lahat ang gumagawa sa buhay ng kanyang mga lingkod. Kaya anumang challenges na nakikita sa natin sa ministry, let us go forward. Praise the Lord! Forward pa rin tayo and God just open the way for us to proceed and to reach the destination which is no other than the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord! Magsitayo po ang lahat.